I'm taking on a $50 bacon cheeseburger challenge that you only have 13 minutes to finish in order to get it free. But in this case, the restaurant wanted to see if I had what it takes to set the new record, which was currently at 9 minutes and 6 seconds. And the battle is on. Now I don't have a lot of time to work with here, so it's straight down to business, as I'm just going to town and sending it down. Even going with the aggressive two patties right off the bat. And for this food adventure, I'm in the Q area of Melbourne, Victoria of Australia, at a restaurant called Burger Block, taking on their 1.5 kg saw burger challenge. Now, this place is actually known for having a variety of burgers, with each one having their own Asian fusion twist, which I'll just say right now, they all looked incredible. But this burger I'm battling right now is definitely more on the standard side of things. And there's nothing too crazy here, but it does come with eight fusion Asian beef patties. Then along with that is eight slices of American cheese, eight pieces of bacon, all of which is infused with Burger Block's secret fusion sauce. And as a magician, I can certainly appreciate a good kept secret. Now all of that is in between a French sesame brioche bun. And like I said, the time limit for this is 13 minutes. But again, the restaurant wanted me to really see if I could break that record. But regardless of the outcome, I'll get the 50 Australian dollar meal for free. My picture up on their wall of fame for that as the restaurant calls sweet eternal glory. In addition, and I think this is pretty neat, you also get a VIP card which is good for 10% off any future meals for one year which in my case really doesn't matter, but if you're local, hey, that's a pretty cool perk. As far as this challenge goes, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Not much to do but to get after it and show this burger who's boss. Though I do have to say, this bacon cheeseburger challenge by far the best burger I've had on this trip so far. It was so good. The burgers were so juicy and packed full of flavor and the flavors mixed so well with the cheese and the bacon and also I know why they kept that fusion sauce a secret. Even though I can't really explain it, it just somehow adds a nice dimension to the overall mix of flavors. And that French sesame brioche bun, oh man, it was soft. And if you know me, whenever I grab some soft buns and shove them into my mouth, I'm gonna have a good time. And this was no different. And even the bits of grease in the fusion sauce that was left on the bottom bun, it was fantastic. It wasn't overpowering or too savory or anything like that. Actually, it kind of reminded me of a lighter au jus of sorts, where it actually complemented the flavors of the bun, rather than take away from it. If I just had to sum up this whole food adventure experience, whether I'd win or lose, it was just an awesome experience. The service and the general vibes of this restaurant are great, and they really know how to promote their challenge and get some exciting buzz around it. Doing it better than most in my opinion, and the food here is ridiculously good. Which like I said, they have a ton of Asian fusion inspired burgers and dishes. Plus they also have keto friendly options too, including a keto burger challenge which was created sometime after this challenge was filmed. With it being so juicy and flavorful, I was able to make quick work of this bacon cheeseburger challenge. And now, to celebrate, it's time for those post-challenge victory push-ups. And while I treat myself to some dessert, which is definitely not keto friendly, embark on another video by tapping on the video on the screen or clicking a link in the description down below. And I'll see you there.